Hey guys, welcome to the ninth video of my series on introduction to NumPy. So, and in this video, we're going to talk about a very important topic of the NumPy library, which is broadcasting. So, what is broadcasting? Broadcasting is a term which is used to describe how NumPy treats the arrays with different shapes during arithmetic operations. Although I repeated this statement all along, but actually, this is the simplest way of describing broadcasting so we have already seen this particular um, behavior in the uh, other video where we were talking about element wise operations right so let us take a look at an example and then come back to broadcasting again so here let me import numpy as np and here is an array a equal to np dot array right and here i have let's say another array np dot array so here as you can see both the arrays have the same shape so if i say a into b what do i mean i mean element wise operation so i get 2 into 1 2 into 2 and 2 into 3 so i get 2 4 6 right so this is a very simple behavior which we which is very easy to understand and remember that when you try to do any kind of binary operation over numpy arrays then element wise uh, operations happen but now consider this I have another array called b which is np dot array 2.2 so it contains uh, b dot shape is 1 right so now if I just try to say a multiplied by b should this happen because as we know that there is a rule that both the arrays should have the same shape so that element wise operation can take place but what if I say a into b here where a has a shape um, 3 and b has a shape 1 both are one dimensional arrays actually so if I just try to run it, look at that, I get the same result, 2, 4, 6. So what actually happened? What happened was this. I got the array A and I got the array B and the B array was actually stretched to be made equal to the size of A and then we got the final result, 2, 4, 6. So this thing is called broadcasting. You are broadcasting your array B along a particular axis so that the operation can be made feasible. So that is all broadcasting is about. So now you might be thinking that why should I try to do broadcasting if I have this particular method, right? So that might be a question in your mind. So the answer is that as you can see here, here you have to write two, three times and all those three twos are placed in memory somewhere. Whereas here I have to write two a single time. So it is just occupying a single place in the memory. But the result I am trying to get is same. So what we learn from this is that we can save memory if we try to use broadcasting, right? So here it is, why broadcasting is better? Because we do not need to make multiple copies again and again of the same element and yeah, it works much better in a much better way as compared to that, right? So you are more efficient when you use broadcasting. Now, um, if the things get a bit complex, then you need to understand a very simple broadcasting rule, which I am stating here. So whenever you get two arrays, which have different shapes and you want to figure out if they can actually um, operate together or not, then what you have to do is you have to put their axis or dimensions like this. Let's say you have an array of size four cross three and you have a one dimensional array of size three. Then you put them like this in this order. And then what you have to do is you have to compare their axis one by one. So the first axis both have three three. So you just write three here. Then you go four and then there is nothing to compare. Then you just write four here. So if nothing like this happens that there is a different axis along three or anything along four, then um, it is feasible to do broadcasting. So similarly, if you have a 4D array and a 3D array and the sizes are like, like this and you have, if you have a one, and then you have a 5 then again you can write 5 here because the axis along the a and where we have 1 will be broadcasted 5 times similarly 6 and 1 it is 6 1 and 3 is 3 and 7 but had there been something like this you have an array of 4 cross 3 size and you have a one dimensional array which is a size 4 here you cannot do any kind of broadcasting okay so this is a case there, there where there will be a mismatch and broadcasting is not possible so now um, let us try to say uh, see an example here so here i have two arrays a and b and both are 1d arrays right now so now let me convert the shape of my array a so let me make a equal to a dot reshape um, 4 comma 1 right so now 
a dot shape is 4 cross 1 and b dot shape is 3 so what will happen now let us try to understand 4 cross 1 and 3 if i try to write them in the order to understand if broadcasting is feasible or not i will write something like this 4 cross 1 3 so what will be the resultant array it will be 4 cross 3 how do i do this 1 and 3 compared you have to always write 3 when there is a 1 and when there is no axis to compare like this here you just write that particular bigger axis 4 cross 3 so now think about it you had these two single one dimensional arrays and if you are trying to multiply them by reshaping one of them you are getting a two dimensional array which is 4 cross 3 in size then how will it look like here is a simple visual which will help you to understand it here it is your array a here is array b and now along this particular axis where we had one we will stretch it three times a will get stretched three times and here where we had no axis for the second array here b will be stretched four times so finally a multiplied or a plus b will give me a four cross three array like this right so this is the final result so this is um the broadcasting rule and this is how broadcasting happens and i also told you why is broadcasting important or useful to say right and i hope the concept of broadcasting is clear now and if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching